Hey, hi to everybody. I'm Nicola Piretti, as uh, he has introduced me, and I work for Corel. I would like to talk to you about transcritical CO2 condensing units, specifically driven by VC inverter technology. So, the refrigeration world is subject to several regulations, both for energy and uh, for eco-friendly refrigerant. And starting from refrigerant uh, and talking about Europe, F-gas regulation is limiting the use of refrigerant that has a GWP lower than 2500, 2500. In, in US, EPA-SNAP rules is actually listing which refrigerants will be unacceptable starting from 2018. So, as Carwell, we are bringing in our booth and uh, as a solution to drive the market, CO2 condensing unit. GWP is one and we like natural refrigerant. From uh, a performance point of view, a uh, condensing unit uh, strictly follows in Europe Eco Design Directive that uh, will become more strictly starting from 2018 and is uh, fixing some seasonal limits uh, in terms of performance. And so does DOI from US. What about uh, Carell is doing for energy performance? Using DC technology to be very efficient at any load condition. So natural refrigerant and energy efficiency together. Naturally efficiency available now. This is our catchphrase in this Euroshop 2017. So this is a, a schematic explaining you how the condensing unit scenario is in terms of GWP and performance. So at the beginning we have a HFC condensing unit on off so high GWP and low performance. Trying to uh, improve this performance, we can go from uh, on-off solution to modulating solution, a C-modulated solution. And in this scenario, ECO, high efficiency condensing unit, starts to uh, enter in the market with the DC inverter technology. Starting from this, we move once the performance has been reached, also considering the GWP. And we, sorry, and we move to CO2. So once again, performing a natural refrigerant. Which uh, are the CO2 status in the market? Well, is a, is a standard in commercial refrigeration. Carbon dioxide is well used in hypermarket and large supermarket. Compressor rack CO2 are widely used in transcritical booster configuration, as you can see. What about convenience store? The small format that will... Um, it's the best format for condensing unit is a little bit delaying their entry in the market due to higher cost and higher complexity. But uh, honestly, the, the last months clear uh, let us see an increase of the condensing unit, natural condensing unit demand. So Corel, also in Euroshop, presented its new condensing unit with an extended range. So, in the last exhibition in Cilventa, we saw the medium temperature application with ECO. Today, at Euroshop, we present the low temperature application. And this is a, a picture from our booth. So, ECO solution is always a, a, a system that integrating all our controllers from inverter for the compressor, advanced controller for managing expansion valves, an inverter to have a total green solution. What is also new here is that in the market now there is a full range available of CO2 compressors. 
DC compressors. So, talking about uh, ecosystem for low temperature application, what we can see from the diagram is a booster system with a low stage that uh, allows to manage a single line evaporation for low temperature. The discharge of this compressor together with the flash gas coming from this receiver is managed by a second stage of compressor. This is a double stage in a booster configuration. So we use the HU inverter system managed with the advanced controller able to control all the transcritical circuit. Also the high pressure valve of course which are the pillars of the eco system. Of course, new efficiency frontier, because we are talking of new technology, DC technology, and direct communication with the cabinet, that is one of the most important things in terms of efficiency. Innovation suitable for all, because this technology is offered from Corral. So driver, controllers, you can find everything now and uh, no food waste, food quality, because uh, with DC technology we can also have a, a very stable regulation. And in the end, the connection is important. Connection to a supervisory system, to a GPRS system, to control and monitor it, also from remote, uh, how the condensing unit is working. Talking about new efficiency frontier, what we can say is that uh, most of the refrigeration plant is working in a certain, uh, in the largest part for their lifetime, uh, between 25 and 50 percent of time with a lower cooling load. So, considering that fact, we should consider that the fixed speed compressor are not efficient at very low capacity while is increasing its uh, uh, performance when the unit is running 100%. When we start instead to use a, a modulating device, we can see that uh, the uh, increase of uh, performance comes directly from uh, uh, up to 25%. So the uh, modulating technology of DSC that is in this green phase, the the most yellow in the, in the green uh, shapes and uh, offers this kind of efficiency. To increase that one, you need to increase the modulation range, the capacity range of the compressors. And DC technology is uh, offering this last part uh, to improve uh, the efficiency of the condensing unit. New efficiency frontier goes also for uh, specific algorithms that are included in the condensing units controller. So we are talking about DC technology, but we are also talking about uh, CO2 transcritical cycle management that we can see here. So the work of compressors looks uh, to the optimal pressure that is defined starting from the gas cooler outlet temperature. So measuring which is the gas cooler outlet temperature, we can work on opening and closing the valve to reach the optimal pressures, thanks to the control of the expansion valve, that is an high pressure valve. This is when it is intracritical, while when you are in intermediate mode between subcritical and transcritical, we work to give a smooth regulation, a smooth transition from transcritical to subcritical and vice versa. In subcritical operation, the air pressure valve is controlled maintaining a stable values of subcooling. New efficiency frontier goes also from uh, other algorithms present inside uh, the controllers. And this is uh, one example, smooth line. What is smooth line? Is the capacity, the ability of the cabinet controller to understand when the temperature of the cabinet is good for regulation, instead of stopping the regulation and giving more on-off cycle, it moves the super reset point. In this uh, 
doing this, the controller is always on, avoiding on-off cycling. This is a dynamic super heat set point. So we are continuously modulating the cabinet super heat. This is bringing another advantages, and it is all, always part of new efficiency frontier because when the cabinet is performing well, thanks to the smooth line controller, we can work on the suction side of the compressor of the condensing unit. In fact, if all the cabinets are performing well, we can decide to increase the suction uh, set point. So we have also here a continuous modulation, continuous modulation of the cabinet, continuous modulation of the dynamic set point of the compressors. This is also um, in good relation with the wild and real capacity modulation of the specific DC compressors. It means also for the compressor, no on-off cycle. Here in this slide, we just want to see how the season effect on the high pressure optimization is given through the different uh, season, from summer to spring. Uh, operating uh, in summer and in spring in transcritical, in subcritical, in winter, in autumn, considering an average uh, inside Europe, of course. And also the possibility of having uh, a night-day effect uh, for the floating suction when, during the night, uh, the suction uh, pressure can be increased. So the performance uh, can be really increased uh, considering the lowest possible compressor ratio between suction and condensing and the minimum possible refrigerant flow rate uh, through the dedicated heat exchanger. Innovation suitable for all. We, I already introduced in one of the first slides this concept is uh, that we are offering a full integrated and compact solution. So not just a controller, but a unique controller with a driver built in that is able to manage in case of medium temperature application like this one, two valves. One for the high pressure, the HPV valve, one for the flash gas, the RPRV, regulate on pressure receiver valve, the valve that is taking charge the flash gas amount inside the receiver. But this unicontroller board is able to communicate in serial line to the advanced direct current compressor driver. This driver is managing perfectly the PLDC compressor. And last but for sure not least, the electronic expansion valves for a, a calibrated injection and precise regulation of gas cooler and receiver, pre and receiver pressure in terms of the condensing unit, but also precise regulation in terms of cabinet controller. Here we have three expansion valves in this scheme all in one. Innovation suitable for all means also maximum easy of use. So we offer an intuitive programming and a, a different profile for different user, a simplified menu for a clear navigation and special dedicated display to give full information. Moreover, it means also easy setup and optimization. We offer a wizard setup, so we suggest how to configure your unit. And also we offer, with a special graphic display, nice view and small synoptic that can give you instantaneous information on the system. Last, the extremely fast commissioning. So we have pre-configuration and we have optimized the default parameters to help OEM, but not just OEM, also installer and contractor, to characterize the unit. Food quality is uh, the third pillar that we, that I told you in the in one of the first line. Extreme reliability it means no downtime. We reduce the time where the unit is off because we fully control the envelope of compressor. We certify all the compressor BLDC that we are offering in our DC inverter. And thanks to this detailed qualification process, we can perfectly control and let the system work with an extreme reliability effect. 
Moreover, not just control of the compressor itself uh, with the envelope, but also control of the oil return with some specific feature like the washing of the showcases, so opening the expansion valves and uh, trying to return all the oil uh, lost in the cabinets, and increasing the speed of the compressor to have uh, this oil coming back. Food quality, this is a, um, a recap slide, a slide for, um, for what we have seen until now through algorithms, through new features, through DC technology, in the end we can offer a very stable regulation in each condition at any load uh, condition. And the last pillar is always connected. So your unit, your condensing unit, can be simple and deep accessed also from remote, thanks to our Tira product that uses GPRS or Ethernet connection. That is giving you direct data access and notification, intuitive site navigation, and easy optimization and higher service level. Talking more about the easy optimization and higher service level, you can here have some example of what our remote service can offer. Energy consumption, system comparison, and business intelligence with all units connected. Also different kind of units. So you can have a comparison and understand why one unit is working better than another. Of course, you can customize all this kind of graph and all this kind of data. Eco Sistema in the tail. So here we have a new application, low temperature application, that I already introduced before. It has two stages of compressors. Low temperature compressor, and let's call it high stage compressors. The first one is taking charge of the CO2 capacity for the liquid line of the low temperature applications. The second compressor is able to reduce the gap of the delta P from the low temperature to the high stage and is managing the flash amount inside the receiver. So you don't need at all a flash gas valve. In the medium temperature application instead, we have a single DC compressor but the system has the ability to manage the two important valve of a transcritical CO2 system, a pressure valve and flash gas valve. The liquid line is always filling a number of cabinets that can reach the five units. Conclusion. CO2 disinverter and compressor are available in the market. So we saw in Chilventa medium temperature con um, application in Euroshop, we present the low temperature application. And today, what we can, see, can say is that these inverters are available and also a full range of compressors for CO2 are available. Most of the presentation was talking about energy saving that uh, goes uh, in as a first uh, key factor through DC technology, inverter and compressor but also through advanced and enhanced control algorithms. Efficiency and refrigerant regulation can be achieved using this inverter and using CO2, CO, 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 CO2, sorry, and using CO2, you can be green. Food preservation is another key point of this solution and ecosystema is resuming all what we saw before, extending its range. This is another picture, not, not a picture, a scheme of our booth. So please visit us at Euroshop, even if we have just one day left. And in this solution, I would like to talk about the low temperature application that we are showing with a two stages system, but using CO2 in the low temperature side. So. Uh, a compressor for CO2 managing the cooling capacity of the low temperature cabinet and in the high stage a propane compressor that is managing the CO2 condensation. So if you need any more information please come to our booth.
natural efficiency available now.